Hi everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, this is in response to a question that somebody asked about making a custom resolution for a timeline. And the person that asked this question mentioned that they wanted a custom resolution of 2000 by uh, 1200. Now, if your footage doesn't match that resolution here, let me grab a shot here and we'll go down, go to this little drop down right there and we'll show preview area. Preview area will show the resolution. This is 2048 by 1080, or it might be 1920 by 1080 or a UHD or something like that which would be 3840 by 2160. So if you have these uh, varying resolutions, uh, what I would start off by uh, doing is uh, dragging one of my clips into uh, the new timeline, create a new timeline to create it just so it makes the same uh, time code base here, which is 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second or 29.97 or 23.98, whatever your frame rate is, it will match that in this timeline. So I'm gonna drop that into a timeline here, generate the timeline. I'm going to go to my list view here so I can see where my timeline is. Actually, I can even go to my project area, go to list view, and arrow this down and grab my, I like to grab my timelines and drag them out of my folders so I kind of see them in the main project area here. There it is. So I just drag that out. I can delete this clip now, and I have somewhere to start with with this timeline. I'm just going to call this final edit or something. Uh, but now I can right click on this. I've deleted all my footage out of this, and I'm going to right click on my final edit timeline here and I'm going to go to timeline settings, or, or sorry, sequence settings. Timeline sequence, pretty much the same thing. I go to sequence settings, and now I've got my frame rate, which is I'm gonna keep keep that the same because that's matching my footage frame rate. You pretty much always wanna make, uh, match your frame rate. Uh, not, not all the time, but there'll be some uh, instances where, where you don't, but I'm going to change my frame size here on my video to my custom resolution, 2000 by 1200 is my new resolution. And then I hit okay, and now that timeline, if we go to the preview area on this tab here, preview area, and now I select my timeline, it's gonna show that this new timeline now has that custom resolution that I wanted to give this. And now one thing you might wanna keep in mind is as, as you drop new clips in here, if your footage does not match the timeline resolution, when you first drop a clip in, it's going to ask this. It's gonna say, do you want me to keep the existing settings or change the timeline resolution to match those of the clip. I'm gonna say, no, I wanna keep my existing settings. But now, if you can see this at the top here, what this has done, since this is a different resolution than my timeline is, I have letter boxes at the top and the bottom. You might have letter boxes or what's called pillar boxes on the side of the, of the frame here. Let me find, find a different shot that has a better example here, something a little brighter. Drop that clip in here. And now you can clearly see the letter boxes on the top and on the bottom because this resolution does not match that resolution. There's a couple solutions to this. You can right clip, say we've got a bunch of clips here in our timeline and we've done a bunch of editing in here and now we want to uh, make everything uh, scale up to fit this frame size without letter boxing. I can select one clip here and go to the effect controls. I can select motion here and it will bring up a wireframe and I can uh, zoom this up until it fits. I can go to the corner here and zoom this up until it fits the uh, frame size. Right there, that fits the frame size. Now I have no letterboxing. We've zoomed up uh, this clip to fit the frame size. So now what I can do is select this clip. I can do Command C and copy or Control C on a PC and copy this. Now I can select everything in my timeline by hitting Command A or Control A and select everything in my timeline. I can right click and I can say paste attributes. I just right click on one of the clips, say paste attributes. I'm going to paste uh, the motion, if you have other effects, you can turn these off. They have been added. If you haven't done any effect work, it's fine to keep those all selected. And now I hit OK, and it's going to paste the motion effects that I did on that zoom there to everything. And now as I move through my timeline, everything has been zoomed up to fit that exact resolution there. And I no longer have the letterboxing. But that is only if your clips uh, mismatch the resolution of the timeline. And uh, keep in mind, this, these, are, uh, these are mismatching aspect ratios as well, 2048 by 1080 uh, versus uh, 2000 by uh, 1200 is a mismatching aspect ratio. If your aspect ratio, if your aspect ratio is exactly the same, if you have a 3840 by 2160 and you're trying to fit it into a 1920 by 1080, uh, you don't have to do that scaling thing that I did. You can just uh, select all your clips, right click and select, uh, and select set to frame size. See, and that kind of pulled it back to what it was before because it has a mismatch, mismatching aspect ratio. But 3840 by 2160 is the exact same aspect ratio as 16 by 9 as uh, 1920 by 1080. So if you're putting UHD clips into a 1920 by 1080 uh, timeline, it'll match the aspect ratio, ratio. And you don't have to do that manual zoom. All you have to do is select everything, right click, and say set to frame size, and it will rescale everything to fit within your timeline.
And you can actually do that to your clips as well before you put them into the timeline. You can select all your clips, Command A or or, um, or Control A, go up to Clip, go up to uh, go up to the Clip drop down, go to Video Options, and check mark Scale to Frame Size here, and it will automatically. Uh, that's a little bit different than Set to Frame Size, but having those things check marked when you drop something of a different res differing resolution into your timeline, it will scale it down uh, to the size of your timeline. And like I said, this is a mismatching. Uh, aspect ratio so it doesn't fit perfectly so it adds to the letter boxes all right well thanks for watching and that was just to answer somebody's question if you have any questions please post them thanks